of furlough, extended to September. Self-employed grants, extended to September. Universal credit uplift, extended to September. More money to tackle domestic violence, bigger incentives to hire apprentices, higher grants to struggling businesses, extra funds for culture, arts and sport, new loan schemes to finance businesses, kickstart, restart, a lifetime skills guarantee, business rates cut, VAT cut, stamp duty cut and a new mortgage guarantee, the first part of a budget that protects the jobs and livelihoods of the British people. And, Madam Deputy Speaker, as you can see, we're going long, extending our support well beyond the end of the roadmap to accommodate even the most cautious view about the time it might take to exit the restrictions. Let me summarise for the House the scale of our total fiscal response to coronavirus. At this budget, we are announcing an additional £65 billion pounds of measures over this year and next to support the economy in response to coronavirus. Taking into account the significant support announced at the spending review, this means our total COVID support package this year and next is £352 billion. Pounds. Once you include the measures announced at spring budget last year, including the step change in capital investment, total fiscal support from this government over this year and next amounts to £407 billion.